If you have a look at the working file basic select syntax, this will give you the syntax required for writing correct select statements. Select statement is a statement that extracts data from your database. It's probably the most useful statement. And it's probably the most used. Now you can see here down the left, we have the keywords that are required to be used. And then on the right is the information we would provide. Now a basic select statement only needs the first two lines, which is select the field or fields you require from the tables. And that's it. Select whatever fields from whatever table name. It can then get progressively more complicated by adding in a join. And then you need to select which tables to join and which are the two joining fields. So which is the primary key, which is the foreign key. We can add in a where criteria. So filtering the data. We don't want to see all the rows. We don't see all the records. We want to filter some of the data out. We have a group by keyword, which allows you to group the data that you're selecting by any one of the fields or columns within the data. Having allows you to filter the groups by their grouped values. We'll see this in action to make more sense. And then order by allows you to sort your data. Now you don't need all of these, but if you do, they're in this order. That's why they're laid out this way. So it's always the select statement first then the fields you want, then the from statement, and the table that you want, then a join if required. If the join is not required, then you can go straight to where. If a where is not required, you can go straight to group by. If a group by is not required, you can go straight to order by. Having works with group by, so really that should be slightly indented. So we could say select whatever fields from whatever table and order by a particular field. Let's see this in action. Now we're using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and connecting through to a sample database. But you'll see in the install in sample databases what we are making use of and how. Here I just want to show you the sample syntax we've just demonstrated in use. So we've got select asterisk as a field name means all of the fields. So it's like a little clever key from TBL contacts. The other good thing that I like about the SQL Server Management Studio is it color codes the SQL keywords. So you can see select and from are in blue because they're the SQL keywords. So we're selecting everything from TBL contacts. If we highlight that statement and run it, we then see in the data at the bottom, all of the columns, all of the rows, and in the messages, we can see that there are 385 rows. If we don't want all the columns, then we start to use the field names. So the second select statement here, Select FN SN town. So comma, 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 run. And we just see the FN SN and town still for all 385 rows. Perhaps you would like them in a particular order where we can add in the order by clause there. So we're still using select, still using from, and we add in the order by. Run. And these are now all in region order, even though we can't see the region name. Then we want to filter. So it's select field from table where and then our criteria which is the region is equal to west yorkshire run and then we've now filtered we've only got 10 rows we can see that there are less records here there are only 20 in the messages we can see 20 and down in the status bar here we can see 20 rows we can add in a group by so select in the region count the contacts from tbl contacts group by region execute they're all my regions and we can even then add in a having, so saying that the contact count must be more than two. So if we look down this list, there are a lot of ones in there. We add in the extra clause. Now we only see regions where the contact count is greater than two. And then we can even order by contact count descending. So the region with the most contacts at the top and the least, but still greater than two, is at the bottom. And then I've even added a link example here. Selecting field names from contacts in a join marital status on marital status equal to marital status ID. So we're linking to another table and we tell it which two fields to link together. So which one in which table is linking to the field in the other table. Now we've used pseudo table names here to make the syntax shorter and you'll see how that works when we get that far. But as an example to run, we then see first name, surname and marital status as a text value as opposed to a numeric ID. So those are the examples and the file is available in your working folder from the basic syntax. But the only bits you've really got to remember at this stage is select fields from table and then you're away and able to make select statements which will extract data from your given database.